There it goes. Okay, now it's finally. Now you got a Lou Gehrig's patient trying to eat. That's what this is. I've got these headphones on. A burger, a cheeseburger, and fries. I've got to keep my head close to the plate because I can't lift my hand up to my face. Well, I kind of can, but from here I can't. If I try to do it from here, I've got to use the other hand. And I still can't push my hand up to my face. Looks like I'm faking, doesn't it? Don't tell anybody, I'm faking for the parking. Clackered. That's right. Shh. Don't say anything. For the money, for 700 a month, I'm faking. <laughs> now the fries. Try to get this ketchup over here. It's a beautiful day out here in Lake Havasu City. 105 in the shade. It's around June 1st, 2015. Two days after California was supposed to go the way of Cora. If you know your Old Testament. Who does? Not even Christians. Uh. Oh, made too big of a mess yet. Can't really go out and eat too much anymore. Your tentacles are hard. I got to use um, plastic forks and spoons. Otherwise, it's too heavy. If you can believe that, to lift a fork or a knife is too heavy for an ALS patient. It is. You don't think so. You think they're faking because it's so ridiculously weak. You see, your muscles atrophy after a while. Then they keep on atrophying on top of atrophy, which is the worst thing. Then you can't even lift up your own arms. Forget about weights in your arms. You can't lift your own arms up. People get frustrated. They become mentally ill. They're not going to believe in any, anything like spiritual stuff. They wouldn't do that. So they still think they can find a way out of it. But there is no way out, you see. You see, there's nothing that you can do, you see. The good Irish way is just if someone just says, can't you even, why don't you just walk up here and get a hot dog? I go, because I can't. That's the real reason. I mean, it's, there's nothing but that simple answer. So if somebody says to me, well, just, uh, just stand up and take a pee. I go, I would, but I can't. It's the thing, you know. I can't stand up on my own legs to take a pee. I can't even get my thing out of my pants to take a pee. It's, it's a 20 minute struggle in the bathroom, in a public place to pee sometimes. I ask a lot of people, I don't ask them to pull my thing out, of, you know, I, I, I may get to that point. As soon as you see a doctor and you tell them any of this stuff, they go, nursing home. Nursing home. This man needs a nursing home. Go ahead and answer that phone. Then go to the nursing home. That's all they say. Those places are, are death. Everybody's on machines. They wake you up all the time to take vital signs. Vital signs? I'm dying, Doc. You told me I had two years to live. The doctor said uh, 
he was from some country you've never heard of, you know, he said, I said, how long do I have to live? He says, you have two year. I go, two year, two year to live. I said, what if I can't pay my hospital bill? He go, we give you three year. I go, thank you, doctor. So, you know, come on. I'll be dead and I'll finally be accepted for Medicare. You know, dead, just laying there, just. And they'll find a Medicare certificate on my chest. You've been accepted. Congratulations, you've been accepted for Medicare, judge. Thank you, but. You just die, you know. That's what happens from this disease. You just, one day you just die, if you're lucky. It would happen in your sleep. It's due to lack of oxygen. You can't get a good breath, really. I never really have been able to in my whole life. I mean, the whole disease is caused by lack of oxygen to the cells. You know, the, the doctors are stupid. They don't know what they're doing. They, they find out you got ALS, then they got to pay, you know, give you either disability or SSI. And then they just throw you in the trash because most people just die from it. So they have no idea. They, they don't care. They don't care what causes it. But I told you, just told you what causes it. It's definitely oxygen related. Because, I mean, I can't get a good breath and my limbs are really weak. But as soon as I relax, take in a little air, you know, then I can do stuff, you know. So it's definitely related to that. Um, of course, I guess if you take LSD and mescaline and flip out and you, you can't sit down in a chair for two months, uh, that could that could do something to your nerves too, which is what happened to me when I was 21 years old. I'm 61 now. I know I don't look it. I don't want to be around here anyway in a couple of years. I figure I'd like to be out of here on... Uh, well, I don't want to come up with a specific date, but let's just say January 20th, uh, 2017. What is that date? The day that Hillary will be sworn in. I don't want to be here the next day. I'm out. I got relatives up in the high places. I'll, I'll visit them. I miss them, you know. My brother's the guy that jumped out of the helicopter over Newport Beach a couple of years ago, 2011. Just look it up. Just Google it. Man jumps out of helicopter over Newport Beach without a parachute. He lived. You know the guy survived when he hit the water? They took him to the hospital and he passed away after that. He would have been worse condition than I am. But I miss the guy and I want to go see him. And in this condition, believe me, you don't want to live too many years. And it's getting worse. This is the good times right now. I'm able to take these fries and dip these inside this try to dip them inside this you can't really see I'm trying to dip them inside there and I mean I'm starting to eat like a dog now I mean I just when I eat my cereal I just do this why not a dog does why can't I? If I can't pick it up with my hands, I can get it with my teeth. It's just that a dog has a long face, and it enables it to get into bowls where we have a flat face. You know, as a fallen human being, we're just, you know, unable to eat like that. But you still can if you try. You know, you don't have to go into a nursing home just because you have to be fed. Still trying to get that last piece of. There it is. Yeah. So I'm not doing too bad. I mean, I can try to get this Coke. I gotta slide it over because see, my hands are fists. See my hands? They're not like that for a, for no reason. Those are paralyzed fingers. See that? See right there? Those paralyzed. That didn't. They don't hardly move. They're claws. See that? Now to pick up a drink, you don't pick up a drink. You use your thumbs and you hold it in place. You don't pick it up. Uh -oh. You don't. You don't pick it up or you spill it. You want to get by with this disease. You don't try to do anything that you know you can't do. You just don't do it. 
You ask for help or you just don't do it. You don't pick up this drink because you're gonna spill it. You got a 75% chance you're gonna spill it. Then it just makes you mad at yourself, makes you frustrated. I don't need anybody's help. I don't need anybody. Leave me alone. I can still do things. Hell, I can hardly jack off. Come on. Take care of yourself. Don't get all wound up inside your head and, and take a lot of drugs and stuff. Even smoking pot every day. Not good for your nerves, man. Don't do that. Drinking, smoking cigarettes, you know, I don't have to tell you. It catches up to you. You turn about 50, you're done. You know, your body is like a car. It'll wear out. You can't just uh, trade it in and get a new one. But I am, this is exactly what I am doing. I'm hoping to trade this thing in and go up to where the Christians are going. They, they talk about heaven and all that, and I'm, I'm on board with that now. I'm really hoping that that is real. You know what I'm saying? That's called faith. I don't see it. I don't see heaven here. I don't know it's here by looking at it. I just have hope that it's there, even though I don't see it. Hope in things that are not seen. Things that are hoped for, you know, right? Everybody has that. Everybody hopes for things. Why? You don't have any proof, really, or do you have any evidence? I would say that people have some evidence of, of uh, afterlife. I mean, they... There is evidence if you look out there. There's plenty of it online. There's plenty of testimonials about people that thought they went over to the other side. I don't discount all that. I think that there's definitely uh, a place for the thinking that the soul goes on to another realm. You know, that otherwise, gosh, we're just we're just flesh and decaying bones, and that's it. Not everything that we ever thought of, and all of our abilities, and the gifts that God gives us, it's all gone. That doesn't make sense to me. You know. So I think there's a good chance that we go on, and I'm hoping so that I can get my legs back that don't work anymore, my arms back that don't work anymore. Look at my hands. My hands are, see that? My thumbs are sticking straight. They move. My thumbs move. See that? And my pinkies, my pinkies still move a little bit. See that? But the rest of my hands are all clawed up. There's nothing I can do. How do you walk around? How do you drive? You know what I mean? Surprisingly, I still think I can make love. <laughs> yeah. Not really to myself, but if I had a partner, you see, that's the trick, getting a partner. You know, it's probably not because I don't have any money, because I do. I have a few dollars. I got a nice apartment. It's just that it's probably me. I, I might be an asshole. <laughs> Maybe I am. <laughs> and I never realized it for 60 years. I was an asshole, and I didn't know. We never know, not till we get to the, that's what the next life is for. So you can find out that you were an asshole the whole time you lived and that you wasted your life. Anyway, I guess this video's gone on too long. Maybe it'll get millions of hits and it'll be my legacy and I can die. Judge whacked. Whacked his health. So tune into my radio blog, uh, which is starting up soon. Uh, Repent Radio with Judge Wack. Take care. I'll see if I can shut this off. See, I, now I gotta pull close. I gotta. This just takes me five minutes to shut this thing off. Wait a minute.